Um, so yeah, in terms of energy, energy seems to be coming in waves for me. Um, one minute I can have all the energy, and then the next minute I'm really low. But that that's mainly down to the, to the lack of food. I think um, since we since we sort of begun this, pretty much just lived on you know less than about 100 calories which is pretty shocking and then we had an idea the other day to try and trek out and try and find this river um, which wasn't our brightest idea um, it was we think it was a lot further and the flat land was a lot further than what we anticipated so we burnt a lot of calories I mean a lot of calories um, and then when we trekked back the same day, um, just because it had started to rain, um, we ended up trekking way too far back to the fur shower, um, which wasn't the w worst thing in the world because we had shelter for the night. Um, it wasn't the best shelter, I must admit. Um, it, it rained torrentiously. Um, it sort of became a wet, sort of gloopy mess with inside. But we got up the next day, trekked back to our second shelter because we we both we both decided that you know this is where we we're going to set up camp. We're going to try and meander down the river, down the stream to find the river. Um, that trek back was very difficult. Um, Dan, bless him, I thought thought was going to pass out at various different points, but as a trooper, he powered on uh, and got there in the end. Um, my feet were killing me, sunburnt as hell on the shoulders, you know, so not having any clothes and not having any sun cream, bad idea, but, you know, we're out here to survive, so can't have those kind of things, not those kind of luxuries, and you sort of start to realise that you take, in, take those kind of things for granted, um, but we got back here, um, last night was most probably the worst night we had in terms of rain. Um, it rained pretty much non-stop all night, which doesn't really do out here. Um, we sort of thought we had, we knew the pattern of the rain, which was, you know, by seven o'clock it would start to rain a couple of hours, then it would stop, and then for the rest of the night it, it would be all right. But last night changed all that, and it just rained non-stop. So it meant we had to sort of to, to get any kind of sleep, we had to sleep in for a while today and then we woke up and our main mission was to get to this this river so we meandered downstream um, and it went all right to be fair um, with the rivers not actually as far as we thought it was um, the trek wasn't as difficult um, it does look like there could be potential for life inside the river unlike the forest because there's been fuck all here to be fair um, so our, ne our next mission is to sort of try and um, do some fishing because if we can do that then we can eat and we're in desperate need of that um, we were going to come back and try and crack on with the shelter um, but time has sort of got away from us so we've tried to make as many ad amendments to it as again as possible um, to sort of try and cover in the gaps so that when it does rain tonight that that's not an issue um, yeah, and I'm, feel, I'm feeling a little bit more pumped up than yesterday. I think my energy got so low yesterday that I was ready to just throw in the towel. Um, today, we're finding the river. Boosted, boosted my confidence, boosted my morale big time. Um, and I can see that in Dan as well. Like Dan, from yesterday to today, different man completely. Um, especially in terms of, you know, just wanting to crack on and get things done now. And... You know, I think I think the trek literally took all everything out of him. Um, so so yeah, it's ex exciting times. Like I think I think I think we can plow plow it, plow down, and you know carry on until the end. Um, problem is just hunger. At any given moment, you know, we're we're thinking about food, we're talking about food. Like what what can we eat when we get out? You know, how much we'd like to dig into a nice juicy burger, a steak, chicken. All the things that you know, even even the little foods that you know that I wouldn't even eat normally, like 
you know, veg, like I'm missing, missing veg. You know, I can't wait to go home and just eat some spinach, some uh, sweet corn, stuff like that. Um, you know, food is constantly on our mind, like constantly. Um, what we'd do for some food right now, to be fair, and to be tucked up, nice shower in bed, but hey, that's not the situation we're in. Um, but last off, it's um, November the 7th, so I've got to give a big shout out to my sister. Um, it's, her, it's her birthday today, so I do apologise, I can't be there with her to celebrate it, but I know she's celebrating style, as she always does. So yeah, much love to her, hope she's having a wicked time, and I can't wait to see her when I get back. Peace.